How you going, people? All right, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna follow this girl over here, and this will be done because she. Oh, she might have just looked at me. If she did, that's pretty good. Let's see if she looks again. No, she doesn't. When she got out of her car, she didn't look this way or anything. And um, I was I was sitting two cars over from her, and I was just pulling in, seeing if I could follow somebody. And then I saw her, so I'm gonna try and hang this camera up here. See if she glanced at me. She did not glance at me. So, and she's in a stinking hurry. So she's gonna be a little bit tougher to follow. So what I'm gonna do here. Is I'm gonna follow her. Oh, she came that way, so I'm gonna look like I'm going this way. So see if she does look, I don't want her seeing me looking like I'm gonna try and cut her off. And I know this thing flapping back and forth is gonna be a pain, but I can't drive and hold it. So now I'm one car behind her, and I'm just gonna do this to kind of show you how easy it is to uh, follow somebody without them knowing it. Now she's right up there, so I don't want to get too close to her before the stop sign. So I might even turn right here. So there's a car in front of her, I'm gonna slow down. She's turning right, I know. Now as soon as she makes that turn, so she's not looking at her mirror, and I've got cover from that thing right there, I'm gonna jump up to this stop sign here. Now she stopped at a light, so I do not wanna, oh, she just took that damn light. Damn, that girl's in a hurry. She's gonna get me killed. <laughs> so now I gotta make this light in order to get behind her. And again, I want to keep a good distance so she doesn't pick up my car. Um, I don't want to necessarily stay when you're following somebody. You don't want to stay in the same lane as them. So I'm going to go ahead and move to this lane so she thinks I'm turning. Most people will only look at their back lane. And I don't know if you can even see her car up there. She's I'm in the number one lane right now. She's in the number two lane. Um, so I, I kind of want to do this to kind of show how people are not aware of their environment. I got a car coming up behind me kind of close. It's going to get in front of me. I don't want that to happen, so I'm going to change lanes early. Otherwise, I'll wait until the end. Now, I want to be right behind her, and I don't want to be behind her. So I'm going to go ahead and um, let's see here. What can I do? So because she's in that lane right there, I'm going to pull into this fast food here. So in case she looks back, she thinks I turned off. That's gonna let a car get between me and her. And then I'm gonna pull right back in after a couple cars come in. Of course, it's busy as hell. Nobody's gonna let me in. I'll be like three or four cars back. Okay, so I'm a pretty long way here. Let me scoot in here. I just pissed off that guy. Okay, so when you get this far back, you know, as a cop, I'll be, I, I can go over. If I get too far back, I'll jump on the sidewalk. I'll go against, she just made that right turn. So I'm four or five cars behind her. She doesn't have a clue. Now I'm going to catch this light, and I don't know what this guy's going to do. So thinking ahead, I'm going to cut through this parking lot because I don't want to be stuck behind that guy at that light. And now I'm going to pull out over here. There's a car behind, in between us. I'm going to go ahead and jump out here. Now she's in the number one lane. I'm going to be in the number two lane, heading into school zone. She's probably going to go pick up her kid, maybe going back to work because she's in school. If she parks in that lot, which I think she might do. I don't want to follow her in. Actually, that's a road, so I'm going to go ahead and turn here. Uh, see where she's going. She went down this road. Oh, she already made the corner. So uh, she's getting a little bit ahead of me. If I was following somebody who kind of like had dope, uh, I wouldn't want to get this far back unless I had another unit that could keep up with her um, because I, I don't want them ditching the dope or ditching the gun. And like I said, when she left, she was in a hurry. And a lot of crankers and people... We'll drive like that. Shit, I might already lost her ass. Well, I'll be damned. Well, so now you know how easy it is to lose them. I think that might be her way up there. I'm not sure. If she's going, if she's coming around here to these schools, she probably pulled in one of these lots to pick up her kid. So I'm kind of stuck between not speeding in a school zone which lot did she turn into? Did I lose her? Or is she parked back here and I, I didn't find her? So, but, and, and we can still learn from this. And I think, uh, I think she might be two or three cars up, but I'm not sure if that's a white or a gray car up here. So I'm gonna, now see there's a whole bunch of cars parked to the right here. And I'm thinking that one farther up is white. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn here and see if maybe she came down here to pick up a kid for school. But I might've lost her. And that's okay. Uh, 
if, if you want to, it's easy to follow and find somebody. And this is a, a, my new camera, so I'm seeing how this little iPhone is going to do it. When you're looking for somebody, um, I can do what's called a three-day follow if I don't want to really be picked out. And what I'll do is if I know you go pick up your kid at school every day, I know you go get off work at a certain time, I know something about your routine, I will only follow you one-third of the way one day, and then I will just turn off and let you think that you got away. And then the next day I will set up and uh, where I lost you last time, and when you come by, I'll follow you the second one-third of the way. And then on the third day, I'll pull off where I stopped following you last time, wait for you to come by, and note the time, know you're in a routine. And it may take me a week, but then I'll follow you the rest of the way. And, and that's, that's a good way to where you're not going to find, uh, you're not going to get picked up or be seen as easy. So I went ahead and lost this girl. I think she probably pulled off one of these parking lots when I got behind her. And that's why usually when we're cops and we're following somebody, we have two or three units. And if we're following somebody with dope or uh, a gun or something that we don't want to lose, we just made a, you know, a reverse buy to where we sell and we're going to follow it to see who gets it or whatever, well, then we would have a plane in the air and they would be our backup in case we lost them. So it all depends on how much of a case we're doing, how much we want to invest, and how critical it is that we catch them. So a lot of times, if you know, me and my partner were just driving around, we were following somebody. It wouldn't matter. We'd find one out where they live. We know they're on parole, but we don't know. We know they're not living at the house where they say they are. So um, we want to follow them and see exactly where they are living. And then, um, you know, then we'll go do a patrol search on where he's really living because most parolees list their mom's house is where they live and they keep a set of clothes there. So we always go to our patrol, parole search at their house and um, they're never there. And we never find any dope or anything because they're not really living there. They just list that as their parole address. So um, let me pull over here. There's a car behind me that kind of wants to get by, and I'm kind of going slow so the camera doesn't keep flopping. But um, so, I mean, you know, there's several reasons to follow. If you want to follow somebody, though, you kind of saw a little bit of the routine. I mean, um, I know somebody's going to be like, you shouldn't follow. Oh, that's illegal. Oh, shut up. You're in a public place. I can videotape in a public place. Um, and I I don't know where the hell she went. I knew she was in a hurry, and when you get in busy traffic and you're trying to follow someone alone, it's kind of easy to lose them. Um, you know, uh, obviously, if you have two people with radios, one person can stay closer, one person can pass, and then if they turn behind that person, let's say I had two people and a guy was in front of them, I'm like, okay, stay in front two cars of her. And I'll say three cars back, and as soon as she turns off, I'll pick her up, and then you make a quick U-turn and come back. So, um, obviously, I lost her. Oh, shit, there she is. So, she did pull in here. Damn, you would think I planned that shit. So, that's the girl I was following. She pulled into the school, and I hung around the area. And I'm going to change lanes because I was holding this damn camera. So, um, she, I don't know if she picked somebody up or dropped somebody off. I got a yellow flashing light, which means she can turn. I don't want to get too far back so I don't catch this light. Damn, and I just did. Oh, good, I got the green arrow. So I'm going to slow down and stop, give her plenty of room so she doesn't think I'm behind her, let her get some distance. Then I'm going to make this turn. She's already breaking up there. And again, because I'm reaching up and holding this camera, I'm kind of sticking out. If I'm following somebody like this, uh, I will change hats. I've got three or four hats in the car. I can change hats, um, I can take my hat off, I can put sunglasses on, I can put sunglasses off. Uh, if I was doing a routine on her to figure out where she's going and what a routine and what time is here, you know, I would know this time that she went to the school. Um, and you know what? I mean, shit happens. I know everybody be like, oh man, you didn't find her, that's BS. Hey, you know what? There's been a lot of times we lose people and we pick them up just by saying, you know what? We're going to hang around. We ain't giving up. And uh, so she's, again, I'm in the number one lane. You always number lanes from the center lane out. So there's a number one and a number two lane here. If these cones were gone, I would be in the number two lane. The lane to my left would be number one. So it looks like she's going back to where she came from. I don't know if she works there or lives back there. She's stuck at the light. I'm going to stay in this lane. I don't want to get too close. She's going to make this turn. And following somebody with tinted windows is a little bit more difficult because I can't tell when she sees me. 
So if she, if, if she doesn't have tinted, oh shit, I'm gonna get a bunch of cars here again. Damn it. I'm gonna have to scoot and boot to get her. All right, so I'm gonna cut somebody off here because I don't wanna be more than two cars. Sorry about that. Uh, I've got a left turn signal. She's in the number one lane way up there. So I'm gonna slow down, let her make this turn. Hell, for all I know, she's a damn retired cop or cop and she knows I'm following her and she's driving around in circles now. Got the cops coming. I'll be out at gunpoint here. Oh, she went down this back alley. Now see, this is tough. If I follow her down here, she's gonna know that I'm following her. Um, well, actually, this may be a road. Maybe this is a shortcut that a lot of people use because I saw a car in front of her. Normally, I would not follow somebody down this way unless I wanted to either make a stop or blow my cover. Uh, she's taking a shortcut, but you notice there's a van in front of her. So it's not like she did this on her own. I'm staying in this tree. I want to keep this tree between me and her so she doesn't look in her mirror and accidentally see me. Um, the car in front of her turned left. She turned left. Um, I don't know what her gig is, but I'm, i got to shoot up here now because I don't know where she's at. And uh, pick her up again. And she's in the parking lot now. And I still don't think she has a clue that I'm following her, but uh, as you can tell, unless you're aware of your surroundings, it's very difficult to figure out if you're being followed. So now there's a car. Now she could know I'm back here. I don't know. Uh, I, I would doubt it. I think I've kept a pretty good distance. She doesn't look like she's doing what we call e um, evasive or counter surveillance. If she was doing counter surveillance, she would go in circles. Um, she would be more aware. So because she turned right, I think she's parking and she's probably gonna go into Walmart here. And if I wanted to continue following her, I could just park out here in the parking lot. Uh, I can let her park. I can take a parallel lane to her. I think she turned in the next lane. Um, I can't remember, but you know, normally I would write down her description and what she's driving and the license plates and all this. I'm gonna turn left here. I think she went down the same lane. And I bet she doesn't even know that it's me if she parked. Um, so I'm coming up here. I don't know if she parked or where she went. Maybe she was doing counter. Again, I lost her again because I'm looking at all these people. I'm trying not to uh, run over somebody. I'm trying not to get noticed. Um... And I don't see her. So she might have came back up here and made a U-turn. And again, this video, may, you may be getting something out of this. I mean, I, this is just more to get you to pay attention to your surroundings. No, uh, look in your rearview mirror, look around. I mean, look how easy it was for me to find out this information about this lady and follow her and kind of track her. And, you know, I mean, is this a, a good or bad thing? I mean... Anybody can do it. It's not that I'm doing anything secretive or special or, um, you know, I'm, I'm driving around. It's a free country. I mean, prove that somebody's following you. Are they breaking the law? Uh, I, I don't I don't think it's illegal yet uh, to follow somebody. Um, videotape in public. I think that might be her to the left here. She's still driving around looking for a spot. Here she comes right in front of me again. <laughs> Oh no, that's not her. Same kind of truck. Uh, I don't think hers had the ST on it though. Again, I would have a vehicle description. I would have her license plate written down. I would have all this information if I was following her. Um, I'll go ahead and end that there because, you know, um, I, I tried to show you a little bit on, on following techniques, staying in different lanes, changing your appearance, changing your direction. You may lose them. You want to hang far enough back. Again, it's on how critical, obviously, if I was following somebody who had just abducted a kid and I didn't want to lose them and I was just keeping them in sight until I could get back up to put them in custody, um, I think that's her truck right there. Uh, let's see here. I believe that is her truck. Okay, so she got out and went inside. I didn't even know it. She pulled around the parking lot. Here's her truck right here to the left. Um, but... She's already inside uh, Walmart. So anyway, uh, I'll go ahead. I dropped my cover down. 
I'll go ahead and end that there and hopefully you got something out of that.